Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Caravan TV. Welcome back to Practical Caravan TV. Now I'm finally hooked up and pitched up, which means that I can put the kettle on. And while I do that, you can watch this. The Coachman Pastiche range received a fairly significant makeover a couple of seasons ago, moving into the same body shell as the entry-level Vision. That means changes for 2017 have been kept fairly minimal. There's still all you'd expect of an upper mid-market model. All the Alco goodies, an external locker, an external gas point. And there's one new model, the new 545 with a central washroom. Two models have left the portfolio and there have been some significant changes to a couple of traditionalist models, the 460 and this 520. However, you can't see those changes from out here. They're to be found in there. Now we're starting in the bathroom because that's where the most fundamental changes have happened. If you remember the old pastiche, you'd know it had a circular shower cubicle here on the off side. Now, unfortunately, customers complained that when they dropped their soap, they struggled to bend down and pick it up. So Coachman has moved it over here to the near side and made it this rather massive square affair. It's a really fine thing, complete with a couple of molded shelves in there. That's great to see. In its place here on the offside, there's now a really good sized wardrobe. There's a laundry basket in the base and a couple of drawers at the bottom too. There's not one, but two bathroom cabinets, one up high and then one here in the center beneath the sink. And above that, a rather attractive backlit vanity mirror. And that just leaves the loo, which is an electric flush item beneath a nice smoked window. Now those changes in the bathroom have made space for a rather neat little cubby hole here in the entranceway. It's the ideal place to put your keys and perhaps charge your mobile phone with a socket to match. Ahead of that, there's this fantastic kitchen. Although one word of warning, don't run in from outside and grab here because there's nothing to stop you burning your hands on the hob, which is a bit of a shame. Otherwise, it's hard to complain. There's a good sized sink with a glass lid, which provides extra worktop should you need it. And up high here, a microwave and a couple of lockers. And notice they're finished in white rather than the timber effect of the rest of the van to separate that kitchen. Down below, we've got a separate oven and grill a good sized cupboard and a little cutlery drawer above the fridge here. Here on the other side of the van, well, there's a traditional dinette and it's good to see that it's a decent size, yet it's also got two bunks should you have a couple of grandkids over to stay. This one folds out above, the second one made up from the table and rearranging the cushions. It's just a bit of a shame that there's no curtain to separate that area off from the rest of the van. Ahead of the dinette, we've got a sideboard that's the perfect space to put your TV, along with the controller for the Aldi wet central heating. Up front here, there are a few changes for the Pastiche 520, and that's no bad thing. This really is a very restful and calming lounge area, helped by the oatmeal finishes and the velvet cushions and piping for the soft furnishings. I really like the attractive halo lighting around the top of the cabinets, which are a new cranked design, complete with these graphite bands, which really add to the feel of modernity and class to this lounge area. There's a good sunroof above as well, which helps it feel nice and bright. And these sofas make up into a vast double bed by pulling out the base beneath me and rearranging the cushions. There wasn't an awful lot wrong with the 2016 Coachman Pastiche 520, but this 2017 version is a clear improvement. It just goes to show that if it ain't broke, you don't have to fix it, but tweaking it definitely helps. Until recently, Aqueduct Marina and Caravan Park in Cheshire was a popular and well-respected marina, providing full services and facilities for the narrowboat owners on the Shropshire Union Canal. But in May 2016, the park also opened its doors to motorhomes and caravans, with a small but well-maintained area for overnight visits and longer stays. Each of the 14 hard standing pitches has electric hookup and running water, plus six have grey waste disposal points. 
all pitches are extra wide, allowing plenty of room for awnings or deck chairs. The site boasts modern facilities and an impressive record of customer service, having won several awards for its friendly and helpful staff, something that regular customers seem to appreciate. The staff are really friendly, as you probably found today. They're extremely helpful. Um, it's just a really nice place to come and stay. The staff here are, it's like family. It's like home away from home, and they go out of their way to do anything for you. I, th I think it's the staff that attract you here, because they're so helpful. All of the food in the gallery cafeteria is freshly prepared on site. And there's something for those of you with a little more energy in the evenings too. Yeah, we have social evenings once a month, last Saturday of the month, which is when we do, it can be a karaoke night, it can be a poker night, it can be a local band, live band playing. Um, once a year we have an open fun weekend, so we have bands on on the Saturday night, on the Sunday we have an open day where there's lots of stalls, um, anyone can come along to those events, we don't mind, it's not just people on the park or moorers, it's for anybody. And there's plenty more to do during the day, in and around the site. For walkers, there's the towpath along the canal, adjacent to the marina. And the reception also has some handy pre-prepared walks to do in the local area. The ancient market town of Nantwich is just a 15-minute drive away, with the fantastic Grade 1 listed St Mary's Church in Market Square. This busy little town has great shops, narrow cobbled streets with timber buildings, as well as fine old pubs and bars, and a swimming pool if you need to burn off some excess energy. Alton Towers is 40 minutes away, as is Chester with its famous zoo and cathedral, and lots of shopping along its beautiful medieval streets. Plus there's the famous Snugbury Ice Cream Farm, as well as Beeston Castle just up the road for the kids. Back on site, the essentials are well taken care of, with clean washing and shower facilities shared with the marina, plus the advantage of underfloor heating in the washrooms. Well-behaved dogs are welcomed on the site, and there's also an area set aside for owners wanting to wash or perform simple maintenance on their vans. The visitors are number one. They are our priority. We have just won um, South Cheshire Chamber of Commerce Business Awards for customer service. We've won that. So, you know, we do. We are very customer based. With our moorings, with our moorers, we do send out feedback forms so that we get a regular update of how they're doing, whether they're happy or not. You know, and things with the caravanners, you know, any reviews we get, we will come back to them with things if there's a problem. So we are very customer focused. As a caravan site, I would say that this has got all the facilities that, that you need. It's warm, it's friendly, it's it's a safe area, the facilities are good, um, you can get anything that you really need here from the shop point of view. The staff are very, very friendly, no problems there with the staff at all. The site's clean, well maintained and there's plenty of space around as well. Um, they do some, some poor entertainment evenings here, all kinds of things. And as you can see there's going to be a card evening very soon. Um, Lots of um, special meal occasions and murder, and mysteries. murder mysteries and things like that. The food is excellent, um, yeah. very good cake, <laughs> and it's just very relaxed, very informal, but a good time. <laughs> I would highly recommend anybody comes and comes and checks out this caravan site for sure. For sure. The Skoda Superb Estate has most of the features you might look for in a tow car, particularly the 190 PS diesel 4x4 version which we're testing here. There's a torquey diesel engine, four-wheel drive and an exceptional luggage capacity. This model also weighs more than the rest of the range, making for more favourable matching ratios. On paper, it ticks just about every box, but how does it fare towing out on the road? The 190 PS diesel 4x4 with a DSG transmission has a curb weight of 1635 kilograms, including 75 kilos for the driver and a legal towing limit of 2.2 tonnes. 
we've matched it to a Swift Expression 586 with a mass in running order of 1,325 kilograms. It doesn't take many miles towing the Swift to discover that the Superb is a very capable tow car indeed. Stability is the quality we look for more than any other and the Superb feels unshakable at speed. The Superb can take care of itself in an emergency too. It breezed through the lane change test, changing direction quickly and in complete control. We felt no pushing or shoving from the caravan, however aggressively we tackled the manoeuvre. The brakes are strong too, stopping car and caravan in 11 metres on a wet surface. Our test car is fitted with the most powerful diesel in the range, matched to a direct shift gearbox. The DSG changes gear smoothly and promptly to make the most of the available performance. With the box in sport mode, the Superb towed the Swift from 30 to 60 miles per hour in 12 seconds. The Skoda doesn't just perform well with a caravan in tow, it's also supremely practical. The standard of fit and finish is very high and drivers of most shapes and sizes should be able to find a comfortable driving position. The back of the car offers limo-like legroom so even tall adults will have space to spare. There's a huge boot too, so a family of four should find plenty of room for their holiday luggage. Some cars are less than the sum of their parts, but the Skoda Superb Estate really does deliver on all fronts. It's a powerful and stable tow car and extremely roomy for both passengers and their luggage. You could argue that there's better value for money to be had lower down the model range, but this particular Superb does make an exceptional tow car. If it has a major weakness, we've struggled to find it. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for, but don't worry, we'll be back next week with more fantastic caravan reviews, tow cars and great places to stay. In the meantime, you can keep up with us on Twitter or Facebook or via our website. And don't forget that Niall Hampton will be along in just a few minutes with Practical Motorhome TV. So while you wait for him, I'm going to get hitched up. Truma, makers of the combi heater and iNet system, are proud to sponsor Practical Caravan TV.